Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Sunday. Okay guys, so we have a lot to talk about, especially because now we're hearing from a source why Jax and Brittany are actually splitting up. Now, you guys know that I have been very vocal about the fact that I think that this is a total PR move. I think it's bullshit. I think it's, I think it's something based off of the way that he called out Kyla Mauricio for this whole split and saying that they took note from Scandaball and then all of a sudden is doing the exact same thing. I thought it was definitely something that was for publicity for the show. What do I know? Am I the end all be all? Absolutely freaking lutely not. But she's got opinions. This bitch has opinions. And I'm going to pop off on him. So before we jump in, <laughs> go ahead, smash that like button. If you guys aren't subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell and um, let's jump right in. I feel like I just always want to dance to that shit. Okay, so guys, we're getting into the Jackson Brittany of it all. Um, there is a lot, and I don't even know where to start, but I'm going to start with this first re like reality blurb article. Did Brittany Cartwright's alleged weight gain lead to her recent separation from Jax Taylor? Now, you guys know that... Um, oh, my God. It was um, Weight Watchers. Weight Watchers who allegedly paid Brittany over $2 million to shed the weight, right? After giving birth to her son, which... Great for her. It's a money grab. But also, like, I just, I'm experiencing this right now. I have been, and again, somebody's going to say, you make it about yourself. But I try to put myself in certain scenarios and try to understand. So by all means, like, I don't care. I'm going to, I'm going to say what I want to say. I'm at the point that I'm going to say whatever I want to say, and I don't give a shit. And I love everyone. But in this moment, I have been experiencing weight gain that I can't necessarily understand because I've been lifting weights and like trying to do different things. My face is changing. My body's changing. And it's not fun when people comment on it because I'm used to being a certain size and people always tell me, oh my God, you look like you're doing gains and you, you're getting bigger. And I hate that. And so for Brittany, if in fact this is true and he is, you know, being dismissive or different to her because she is gaining weight. It's probably the shittiest feeling ever. Not probably it is. It's a it's an awful feeling. Nobody wants to feel like somebody is commenting on their weight, the way that they look. You're looking older, you're looking fatter, you're looking thinner, you're looking you know what I mean? Like people just don't like that and it's a shitty feeling. And I think that we can all agree on that. I actually think that that's kind of like universal. Like we all understand. It's one thing that we all understand. According to a new report, Brittany's close friend, comedian Tammy Pescatelli, um, has revealed that Jack supposedly left Brittany, claiming that he was no longer attracted to her. And fans took notice of an unflattering promo for their upcoming Vanderpump Rules spinoff, The Valley, as cameras seemingly picked back up to capture the fallout from their breakup. Now, on March 6th, the U.S. Sun said that Tammy, whom Brittany does not follow on Instagram, left a comment on a gossip page that stated that Jax had separated from Brittany due to her reported weight gain. She said it's true. He told her he's not attracted to her anymore because she gained weight, I heard, in parentheses. Now, a screenshot of Tammy's comment was shared on Reddit by a user. Um, not good for Tammy. That's probably why she's not friends anymore. But Tammy's comment was made just as Bravo shared a new promo for the debut season of The Valley, which featured Britney in what fans deemed as an unflattering dress that featured a colorful sequined top and a flared pink skirt that expanded around her waist, making her look curvier than she actually really is. Yeah, I mean, but can I say really quick, who gives a shit? Like, who made you? This is the thing. Like, this drives me insane. 
who made you the know-all, be-all, end-all of, like, you get to comment on somebody's weight? Guess what, honey? The minute that you walk outside and you accidentally step wrong off the step and you fucking, like, crack your leg or your ankle or you sprain something or you do something and then you're sitting on a couch for six weeks, you don't think you're going to gain weight? The minute that you get that job that's your dream job, but you're sitting in an office all day and there's no exercise involved, you don't think you're going to gain that weight? The minute that the holidays roll around and you're eating your grandma's favorite pumpkin pie, you don't think you're going to gain that weight? Like, to sit back and judge people based off of weight gain or weight loss or whatever it is, is such a dangerous thing to do. As somebody who, and I always get told, again, not about me, but I always get told, you know, like, it's more so women who deal with body dysmorphia and body issues. It's not just women. I deal with this every single day. I hate what I see in the mirror all the time. And it's not fun to have people comment on it. I'm probably one of the biggest advocates of the fact that, like, I am so uncomfortable in my own skin, in my own body. I don't like what I see. I'm not confident in that. And then I come on here and I pretend like I am because, well, what else do you do? It's not like a woe is me. But for somebody to flat out, like if you had a partner, thank God Jason does not do that to me. Thank God Jason does not comment on when I gain 10 pounds or lose 10 pounds. He doesn't. And that's probably the best thing because that would traumatize the shit out of me. It's not something anybody should have to deal with. But back to it. Following the sharing of the post, one person asked, could they have chosen a more unflattering dress for her? Another person said they did Britney dirty with this look, not flattering at all. That dress is not flattering on Britney, a third person wrote of the reality star who claimed to have lost 45 pounds earlier this year. Not being mean, but why is Britney always so terribly dressed? Meanwhile, on Jax's Instagram page, he reacted to fans who spoke of his strained marriage in the valley. I'm excited for the show, but hoping that whatever is going on in your marriage is something that you're both able to fight through and for. Jax replied, everyone goes through ups and downs in marriage. I don't know one couple who hasn't. We'll figure it out one way or another. The show is going to crash and burn, said another person on Jax's page, prompting him to target their looks. And he stated, as long as... As long as bad your face, we should be okay. As long as bad your face, we should be okay. Another Instagram user reacted to Jax promoting an upcoming appearance with Brittany, Kristen Doty, and Tom Shorts in Kentucky. That's nice that you two are promoting your new show even though you guys are separated. I hope that you can work it out. And he explained, just because we are separated doesn't mean that we don't get along. We are adults. Now, while Britney revealed on her and Jax's podcast when reality hits with Jax and Britney last month that they filmed the ballet months and months and months ago, fans have reason to believe that the cameras picked back up. In photos shared by the Daily Mail on March 6, Britney was seen with a camera crew as she moved out of her and Jax's $1.9 million home on Wednesday with a suitcase and a tote bag. According to the report, Britney spoke with crew members before gathering her stuff as she sported a black and beige turtleneck, black pants, and a black purse. Around the same time, Jax was spotted running errands in a gray sweatshirt and matching cap, which promoted his Studio City bar. So they're definitely still running around. They're still doing their thing, but they're definitely also still split. They're saying that the split was based off of body issues. I hope not, but I want to hear what you guys think. So pop off in the comment section, smash that like button, show some love, and we'll see you guys in just a little bit. Love you guys.